Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video on my channel called the Quick Look Series. This is a set that I've had in my collection for quite a while. Um, I thought I'd show it because it was nice and quick. I'm doing it after my review for the uh, Hobbit set, which is just put there for now. Um, it's called 8874 Battle Wagon and it's from the Lego Knights Kingdom 2 range, which is one of the most um, divisive ranges within castle for castle fans generally because it was filled with a lot of big figs and it's very junior juniorized and i'll try and attempt to show you why because here is the good guy and you get in the set the, the the colors just aren't very realistic for the time period um that's not a medieval color is it green uh the emblem on his shield is a is a monkey i don't know if you can see that there we are a monkey um and the swords are just like if that was a real sword in, in reality you wouldn't be able to hold it not with one hand at least it's more like a he-man sword and that that hilt isn't really doing anyone any favors with the sliding back direction because that's just going to hit you in the face or neck or whatever if somebody hits you there um the bad guys are the real but like the bonus from this range i think because it it seems to fit within the castle theme if you know what i mean whereas this guy doesn't this does and i can tell you one thing my son loves this set he loves anything in this in this particular theme actually because we've got a few sets in it and he plays with it a lot whereas the other ones not so much i mean he does the cast the classic stuff then this with the fancy stuff uh i don't think he's as into it but that might be just be due to his age because he's only six just turned six um this is a, a very um it's good for play basically it's a lot of play features on it I say a lot of plate features, it's got a very few basic ones, but they're great. Kids love pushing things. Boom. And this is great for it, it's got wheels. Um, it's got one horse which moves on a joint, which is very, very flexible. I mean, and go all the way with this, it's fine. Previous ones have been affixed to the carriage, and if you did that, you would just come loose, come loose or break. Um, you've got some cool flags up here, made out of a plasticky material. I'm attempting to show you now. It's transparent, you can see it's sort of semi-transparent. There's a catapult on top, which has these transparent neon orange. I suppose that's supposed to be lava or something, I'm not sure. But it doesn't turn direction, you can only go forward in that direction. I'll show it. <laughs> hey, I didn't lose that one, it was actually went within arms range. That's great. Um, evolution. It's got these weapons that are pinned on there. And then it also comes with two scorpion knights in case you're wondering the bad guys and i looked i was looking high and low to to get them and i thought in the end i'm going to just pull two off my another set uh because i couldn't find them uh and it's quite important to show it here apologies for any dust you can see by the way it's because it's been put at the back of my collection somewhere this particular set has and then i realized it's because my son's put them in here the bad guys they lost it's very dark in there so i'll pull it out. there's a door on either side so i'll just open that and you can see here's one of them if i can move his axe out of the way you can see his face there he is and then there's another guy which i'll show you from the very back it has this ladder piece about there you can just pull that down you can act as steps as well and this guy's in there so quite a roomy vehicle there's a lot of space to put minifigs in there there's the other side the door so that's it it's a really simple set really great for kids um you can really push this along quickly you know even if you, if you take the horse off which yeah i can just pull it out of there push it back up mm. see that's what kids love doing that did come off but a kid probably wouldn't care about that so i'll put that back on in a minute um all in all i recommend this set yeah even with this crummy knight i would say <laughs> even the helmet looks dodgy i mean it's like corrugated steel show his face there which is on a black not a regular helmet type in fact if i can just flick that front part off let's see if i can do that with one hand get him off oh, just take him off 
you could say it's just a green regular helmet you might find on a city character and then they put the mask over the front i never like that uh, i do like the barding for and the the helm protection for a horse but which otherwise is just a standard horse by the way but in green it looks a bit weird to me that's it i think the set's good i recommend it if you can get it cheaply which you should be able to because it's a fairly small set um I, i'd splash the cash on this definitely might even be worth having more than one because if you're, if you're transporting an army then you're going to need more than one surely anyway i'll be back with more videos soon i've got to do the the, the four tracks from exo knights which i'll also include a couple of other exo knights stuff in there because they probably didn't deserve their own video but if i add it onto the four tracks one they might um i've got to be to build the stone colossus yet i still haven't done it and review that and then i've got stuff in my collection i've also got a couple of extra hauls coming so Thanks for your time, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.